Hey guys, welcome back. Ahara did finally admit to us that he was behind Mikoshiba's murder, but we have no proof, so we can't really do anything with that information right now. But we did learn more about his relationship with Kuwana and how Kuwana has approached several of these different parents of the victims and offered to help them get their revenge and their justice. Let's keep going. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the comments. The last thing that happened was that we decided that we were going to push for an appeal for the groping case so that we could get that prove that that really wasn't the, true and to prove that the murder of Mikoshiba by Ihara is the actual truth. So we're doing that. So now we got to go back to Yokohama 99. So back to Eugene show. Well, now that's something. Looks like we're finally starting to see the whole picture. Kuwana-san, or rather Kitakata-sensei, huh? And his students helped Ihara murder Mikoshiba. But there's still some things that doesn't explain. Like what? Like why does RK keep going after Kuwana-san? You think that's weird too, that's right, Yagami-san? That's the question, huh? Yeah. That's the piece of the puzzle that'll lead us to why Sawa-sensei got killed. Why is RK after Kuwana? How much do they know about him? Before they came to Ijinsho, RK was originally looking for Shinya Kawai. But when they found out he might have been killed, they suddenly shifted gears to Kuwana. So what are they trying to accomplish? We can guess all we want, but that's not going to get us anywhere. Shouldn't we ask someone in RK directly? They're strengthening their numbers in Ijinsho as we speak. The coons at the bottom rung aren't going to be in the know on that, though. Though if Akatsu or Soma were around, then we might get somewhere. That's true. Sitting around here won't get us any further. I'm gonna head into the city for a bit. I'm quick on my feet. That's about all I have going for me right now. <laughs> How modest of you. Yeah, don't say that, Yagamishi. Otherwise, what ground do we have to stand on? I should head outside for now. Okay. Well, you know what? Since we're probably gonna have to wait for a phone call or something, why don't we start walking towards the pawn shop? Because we haven't been there for a while. And we probably have some plates to sell. And there's the call. Hello. It's Shirosaki. Do you have a minute, Yagami-san? Yeah, what's up? I was thinking back on our interview with Yahara-san, and something you said isn't sitting right with me. So I wanted to ask your opinion. Okay. Which part felt off? The part about Kuwana approaching other bullying victims besides Yahara-san to offer revenge. The Harasan also mentioned that most of them rejected his offer, but never went to the police either. Yeah, and? Well, wasn't the first bully Kuwana killed his own student? Shinya Kawai, I mean. Tormented by his bullies, Mitsuru Kusumoto's leap left him in a coma to this day. That event was the catalyst for Kuwana's actions. So wouldn't he have approached his parents about revenge too? Mitsuru Kusumoto's parents? You're talking about his mother, Reiko Kusumoto, right? Mitsuru Kusumoto's mother, Reiko Kusumoto. She used to be just another suit in the health Ministry of Health, but now she's Vice Minister. Yes, who is currently Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. If she accepted or is even an accessory to a revenge plot against Kawai, then there's no way she'd ever want that secret to get out. With her level of influence and power, wouldn't it be possible that she ordered RK to silence Kawana? Which would explain how RK's actions are being controlled, wouldn't it? And you think it's Reiko Kusumoto? <laughs> you don't think vice ministers can control criminal organizations from the shadows? You know mm. very well the answer to that. Yeah. 
Tsukumo's actually looked into her before. I'll talk to him about it right now. Yeah, this is genius, Sari-san. This could lead us right to who's controlling R.K. Quite a compliment coming from you. I feel better already. <laughs> Don't sweat it. I'll call you if I find anything out. Time to get back to Tsukumo. Might be worth looking into Reiko Kusumoto more closely. Okay, so all right, what I was gonna say before I had to go um, answer the phone was I was I was wondering, remember we were talking, I think last stream or whenever, about how the person or the people who are controlling RK, I had a feeling they had something to do with the Mitsuru Kusumoto, I think his name is, Mitsuru. I thought maybe, like, I remember exactly what I thought, but anyways, it does make sense to me that it would be the mother, especially if she, the mother of um, Kusumoto, the guy, or Mitsuru, who is in a coma. If Ahara contacted her to get revenge, and then he got revenge on Kawaii for her, um, then she would not want that information to get out. So maybe sawa sensei did she know something about that or at the very least yagami um snooping around and all this stuff would um she would not like that and then rk would be she would send rk after him to stop him from investigating yagami san back already <laughs> that was quick. I figured you'd be out in the town until evening. Well, the day's not over yet. I need you to look into Reiko Kusumoto again. She might be the one behind RK. Really? Yeah. Can you pull up the picture of her you showed me last time? Okay. Take a look at this, Yagamishi. Reiko Kusumoto became vice minister just recently. It hasn't even been a full year yet. Looks like she's still got a good rep. Yeah, there's almost no criticism of her out there. The ministry revolution, bucking the bureaucracy. Golden parachutes don't fly with Kusumoto. Hm. Go her. Vice minister is pretty high up there, yeah? Big time. If she really did take Kawana up on his offer, Silencing him would be the quickest way to save her skin. And in that case, she'd need some kind of connection to R.K. Some kind of connection? A bit vague, no? Fair enough, but R.K. already took an innocent life while hunting Kawana down. Right. And after killing Sawa-sensei, they tried to kill me, too. Still, no matter how dangerous the gang, murder is a risky proposition. Then again, if someone's pulling the strings, they have a lot less to worry about. Especially if that someone has vice minister status. Well, the internet's not gonna give us much else. How about we do our usual thing? Go straight to the source. Maybe we should. Would it really be that easy to get a meeting with someone like her? Mitsuru Kusumoto's still in a coma, right? Yes. If he's in a hospital, we can catch her by surprise there. I get ya. That might work. Huh. What's this now? What's what now? Breaking news from the net. It says manhunt for Sawa-sensei's murderer. And? It's hitting the network news, too. The person they're after is... Wanted for the murder of private school teacher Yoko Sawa in her own apartment. Kanagawa I thought it was going to be Yagami. conducting a search for the suspect. <laughs> for a second. Self-proclaimed handyman Yu Kitakata. Nearby Why are they looking for Kuwana? Shouldn't they be after Soma? Sawa-san's former teacher before and after the incident. It's also surfaced that he's been using a false identity for over a decade. The police are hopeful that their search will turn up some sort of connection to Sawa-san. Why are the police going after Kawana and not Soma? What the hell? Hmm. If Kawana-san was caught on camera, then surely some RK thugs were as well? Yeah, I think so. On that note, I should have been in the footage, too. The police only seem to want Kawana, but why? 
Guess we'll have to ask them ourselves. Ask who? Detective Watanabe from Kanagawa PD. He was the guy in charge of Mikoshiba's murder. Yeah, that guy. Been a while, hotshot. Yeah, I guess it has. Hey, I'm curious. Do you have any evidence that Kuwana killed Sawa-sensei? I take it you saw the news? Kuwana was caught on camera near the crime scene, plus he knew the victim. And if that's not enough, he was using a fake name. How's that for evidence? But I saw Soma holding an ice pickup to Sawa-sensei. Plus, there were RK footprints all over the scene. So why is Kuwana the only suspect? Because the big boys with big balls at HQ said so. Barking at me won't get you anywhere. So this is all just pressure from upstairs? What is going on here? Why are you so bent out of shape? Kawana's a legitimate suspect, and all we're doing is following procedure. So stick your private investigator schnoz somewhere else. You know, you sound pretty bent out of shape yourself. Where are you right now? Uh huh? I was thinking maybe we could meet up. How's a free pass to bitch about your work sound? Abe-san? Phone in person, there's nothing I can tell you. <sighs> he hung up. Yagamishi, <laughs> I managed to focus in on the background noise from your phone call. Despite all the interference, I have a good idea of Nabe san's location. Jeez, Tsukumo. What? He's on Seriously? top of things. He's on the main drag in Chinatown. If you go now, I'm sure you'll find him. But is he even gonna listen to you? It won't matter if I miss him because we sat here wondering. <laughs> Yagami Detective Agency, quick on its feet indeed. <laughs> Can't compete with that. Yeah, we're quick because Tsukumo is freaking quick. Nabe-san should be on the main street in Chinatown. I need to catch him and find out what's going on. So, whoever is... Let's take a cab. Whoever is... Pulling the strings for RK is also has some influence with the police, it seems like. Of course, the corruption runs very deep and in all kinds of places where you would not want corruption in, uh, in these games, right? The police are oftentimes corrupted in these, uh, in these scenarios, in these games. Right, let's see if we can find this guy. Yagami, why are you here? Oh, I was looking hey, for you. Nabe san And you were. Sakurai? Oh, right. <laughs> I take it you didn't just happen to be in the neighborhood. Let's just say some friends of mine have a real keen sense of smell. Something stinks about the cops here. Excuse me, pal. The Sawa case. Why aren't you going after RK? Or are you and you're just keeping me in the dark? <sighs> this isn't the place to talk about that. What the? Hey! I get the feeling something's keeping you guys from doing your jobs. And I don't have to listen to you. You want to say that again? Sakurai, I gotta hit the camp. Head back to the station. Huh? Need to take a piss, Yagami? You're looking hydrated. Yeah. Good call. Then let's. Damn. You're looking hydrated. Yeah. Nice spot you brought me to. Very romantic. <sighs> well, we're about to have a shitty conversation. Might as well do it with a pleasant view. Oh? Do the cops one? really believe Kawana is responsible for Sawa Sensei's death? We wouldn't be looking for him if we weren't serious. We even have a warrant. To arrest Kawana? His real name's Yu Kitakata. He's been using a fake. He services right at the murder scene of his former student. 
my eyes, he was suspicious enough. What about Soma from RK? He should have been spotted on the nearby cameras, too. Like when he entered her apartment. He wasn't. <laughs> How is that possible? Let me rephrase. There's no footage that had RK anywhere near it. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> From the moment Mikoshiba's murder went down, the higher-ups had been busy playing politics. I had a handle on things when we were just competing with Tokyo PD over who got to really Hara. But after that murder footage came out, it really stirred shit up. Sawa-sensei's case has me scratching my head, too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover-up? It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Of course. Why does that not surprise me? Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa-sensei's case, they're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kuwana has to die in an accident. What? what? Soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. That is Someone so corrupt. Wants Kuwana gone, and they have the power to do it. Come on, who could have that power? The vice Kuwana minister is of the health clearly a ministry? target of someone higher up. Even if he sees it coming, he won't be able to stop it. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. Hold on. I need my brain, my brain. I need to retrieve information. To... Uh, to mm. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Yakuza 4, uh... <laughs> Dang it, I want to think of it myself. To... Ta... Ta... Tanimura! <laughs> Tanimura would never look the other way! I'm like... Tanaka, t Tanuki, like what is it? <laughs> Tanimura. That's bullshit. You'll shut the lid on the trash. Ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice. And then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? Hello? You never did answer the question, Nami son. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, detective? Smartass! Let's go? Leave it alone, Yagami. It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. <sighs> you little piece of shit! I've had enough! Oh. Okay. Bitch. Oh man, I have no EX gauge. Okay. Time to 
time you cooled off. Have a trip. Shit. Oh god, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Much, bro. They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kuwana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> what do you say about that? Uh, I hear you. And you're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is there anyone on the force who would want Kawana dead? The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. And they didn't point to your guy Soma. They named you Kitakata, alias Kuwana the handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? We were the first to the scene, which means the bigwigs pulled a suspect file before it even happened. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? The public security branch of the police is practically Japan's spy ring. It keeps an eye on foreign agents, gangs, and political groups. They don't hunt criminals so much as gather intel and analyze it to maintain the peace. Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? Seems they were interested in RK's criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, no one will just take their place. True. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma, but he doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been. Maybe it's a cover-up. They had plenty cover of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for our cave. 
Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawasensei's case with him. As far as they're concerned, with Kiwana silenced, we'll all balance out. So that's what you meant by Kiwana having an accident. Right. Better to flush your ship than keep a lid on it. I can't imagine it's easy for public security to pin the blame on, blame on Kiwana for Sawasensei's murder. And again, dead men don't talk. If they get rid of Kiwana, That'll be enough to muddy the waters. So who's running the show in public security? Do they have a name? I wasn't told, unfortunately. Afraid I'm further down the food chain than you thought. <laughs> yeah, Watanabe speaking. Huh? The Gene Show? Huh? Right. Got it. Call me if anything else comes up. Kawan has been spotted. A witness Ooh. reported seeing him in Jincho. Seriously? He's back here? Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fukutokucho, in Koreatown, where the Komi Jewel hang out. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel? Mm. Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. The Kiwanis there? You're not gonna say you got that from me, right? I don't have much time. You said Kiwana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. They mean business. Hmm. Well, it would make sense that he would maybe be uh, hanging out with um, the Gomi Jewel because, you know, they, they have a lot of um, they have a lot of skills that can make somebody like disappear or or something like that. I really loved when Yagami said that basically Sawa doesn't have a voice anymore, so Yagami's gonna be her voice. Somebody has to speak the truth for her in her place, and that's gotta be us. Yagamishi, it's me. I have an update for you. It yeah? seems Kawana has been spotted in Ichincho. Yeah, in Komiju, right? I'm headed there now. Ah, fastidious as ever. But the police have already started blocking off Komiju. Already? They're probably gonna surround the area and gradually close in on Kawana-san. What's your plan, Yagamishi? Parkour! Public security is probably behind that. And according to Nabe-san, once they capture Kawana, They'll end up in an accident. An accident? Long story short, I need to find Kawana before the cops do. Can you navigate me to him? I most certainly can. For now, just keep heading toward Komiju. In the meantime, I'll be monitoring the surrounding area. Oh, and I'll dispatch Sugiurashi. Appreciate that, Tsukumo. Where, where would we be without Tsukumo? What would we do without him? This is Tsukumo. Yagamishi, please come in. Hey, I think I'm in front of Komijuo. Indeed you are. <laughs> I can see you from the drone. Then you'll notice the cops block the road. Any way I can get in there? Parkour! Not to worry. I've already looked into an infiltration room. Better be careful here. Way to go. So, what should I do? Can you see the white car that's parked in front of the barricade? Yeah, I can. There's a really small gap on the side of the car. You should be able to fit through it. It'll be a tight squeeze, I'm sure. But I have no doubt in your agility, Yagamishi. Yeah, but what happens if I get spotted? You can leave that part to me. Itazo! Kotsu! Random... Japanese voice line. <laughs> nice, Tsukumo. Now's my chance. Wait, but the item. Oh, gold plate. Oh. 
I'm so thrilled that we're doing a stealth section right now. going this way Tsukuma where should I go from here Komi Jewel proper seems to be located behind those construction fences there's one door in the fence so that's your best bet hmm <laughs> that what is that ex4 defense plus five percent increases ex gauge charge rate by 20 percent ex boost duration plus 20 percent i'm gonna take it use the smoke bomb again oh i guess they want me to look here Tsukumo, can i get a hand just leave it to me guess they forgot to record oh, those lines in english <laughs> stealth complete yes Without messing it up, thank goodness. You made it without getting busted. So this is Gomiju. Kawana should be in here somewhere. Tsukumo, keep navigating for me. And let me know as soon as you find Kawana. Huh? It's weird. Hello? Great. Technical difficulties? Now? I guess I'll have to make my own way. Make my way on my own. Whatever. Same thing. Same meaning. Alright. Works for me. to the store before this i didn't go to the pharmacy or anything shoot i don't really have much by way of healing items at all kinakata sensei show yourself come on get your ass out here relax with the yelling will you you're giving away our location how am i supposed to relax this shit's intense oh hi sugira <laughs> shh, shh, shh. Sugiura? Glad you could back me Didn't up. Didn't Tsukumo-kun tell you I was on my way? Yeah. Yeah, suppose he did. Yagami-san, all these guys are RK. Does that mean RK beat the police to Kawana? No, not exactly. I just saw some cops let RK guys through. But maybe I'm wrong. I mean, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? No, that was no mistake. Mm -hmm. Some cops are working with RK. But why? Someone in authority on the force is trying to get rid of Kawana, so they want him to have an accident. What? That's off the scale insane. Insane or not, I need to get to Kawana before RK or the cops do. You know where he is? I don't. Come to think of it, why would Kawana-san come to Komichu? Does he know someone here? Good question. Let's just focus on reaching the top of this place for now. Aren't there people from Komichul here? It can't be all RK. Maybe we can ask them where Kawana is. Eh, worth a shot. 
As long as we don't give ourselves away. <sighs> okay. Are we being stealthy again? For now. For now, anyways. I need to keep my eye out for healing items on the ground. That looks like a lot of RK muscle to me, Yagami-san. Yeah, but if that many are out searching, the silver lining is that they don't have a lead on Kawana. True. We'll just have to stay one step ahead of them then. I don't see anywhere else we can go. So let's go up those stairs. I'm really glad you're here, Sugira. All right, stay close. This does not look like a healing item, though. Sorry. <laughs> Just shoved him like crazy. <laughs> Looks like this is the highest we can go. Yagami san, we've got our cake coming in from below, too. Let's find another route on this floor. This looks like the spot where. So, not maybe not exactly, but where I got. Ichiban stuck on. Maybe it was up there where he got stuck. You guys remember? He was like glitched out for, for a bit there. <laughs> trying to get across. Uh, trying to get across. All right, what are we looking for? Look for a viable route. I could get on here, but I can't go up. Uh -huh. Hey. Arcade's down there too. I'll have to find another way forward on this floor. Hold and think. Don't want to get busted. I'll find another way. Can't do the stairs, so maybe climbing along the building is the next best thing to do. Uh huh. Yeah, but oh, I can move here. Oops. <laughs> My bad. Oh, but I should be able to jump over to that side. Let's see how I can get past here. Maybe it can get higher if I go this way. Yeah, we should be able to get up from here. There we go. Okay, show off. Damn, wish I was that nimble. Hey, you're, you're pretty impressive too, Yagami. Don't worry about it. Taking the same route as Sugira is going to be tough. I'll have to make my way up somehow. Okay, well. Here we go. Oh, wait, 
we can drop here. I get my materials. Hi, Free. Hi, Library. We parkourin. We parkourin. I said hi to you already, Free. Sorry. <laughs> I say hi again. Yagami-san? Yo! You guys are Komi-Jewel, aren't you? Huh? Komi-Jewel? Us? What's going on here, man? This place is empty. Lead the way, would you? Yagami-san... They seem like RK. I'd rather not have to bullshit them. So... Take them down? Yeah. Kay was telling the Komi Jill to lead the way? Does that mean they're working together? No way, right? If that's the case, then Kwan is in big trouble. Right? Yagami-san, looks like the top floor is up ahead. There's a room on this side too, though. Might be worth checking out. Room? Oh yeah, let's check out the room. Ah, save point. Okay, well that's perfect because it's time for us to take a break. All right, we're looking for Kuwana inside the Gumi Jewel hideout, and RK is here, and let's do this. Okay, we wanted to go up further, right? We'd had some sign of Kiwana san but maybe we'll still get lucky. Are you ready to go, Yagami san? Yeah, let's go. I feel a boss fight coming up. Man, where is this fucking guy? It's just taking forever. Yeah, it's not like anyone else is here. You think the cops got it wrong? Then what do we do? Keep looking? Is there a fucking point? Seems like Kiwana-san's giving them a slip. What's the plan now? Let's find out what RK's gonna do when they catch Kiwana. Are they planning to kill him themselves? What, you gonna just stroll up and ask him? Well, I only count four of them. So, two each. Piece of cake. I guess. Okay, let's go. Hello, gentlemen. Got a couple questions for you. Huh? Who the hell are you two? You with the Komi Jewel? Wow, <laughs> they don't even recognize you, Yagami-san? Well, that's kind of sad. What's going on here? Oh, there's more than four of them now. Huh? 
Uh, Yagami-san? I don't think it's just two each anymore. Yagami? Hey, that's the detective from Komurocho! A detective? Just get him! They're with Kitakata! Fuck yeah! Let's get it started! Fuck Hope yeah. you're ready to die! Time to die! <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit! Great. More of them. All oh, the guns, the guns. Gonna need some backup here. Sugira. Oh god. I want to get my speed boost from dodging. Ooh, we have a super strength extract. I don't have materials to make any. I need garlic. Crap. I have another freaking vial, but I didn't get any any garlic to make a super strength. Oh well. I think we'll hold off on the strap. There's another boss fight in here. This one, you ain't shit. You call yourself a boss? You ain't shit. Ow, these guns. Damn it. Wait, you gotta go, buddy. You have got to go, buddy boy. Oh, you too? I'm not gonna let you shoot me. That all you got? I thought there were more of you guys. Let's not jinx it, man. You guys came looking for Kuwana, right? What were you gonna do to him? We were just told to catch him. <sighs> Not sure what comes after that. You sure the plan wasn't to kill him? I said I don't know! Who gave the order here? Soma? <sighs> it was Akusa-san. Probably on Soma-san's orders, though. Hey, uh... Yagami-san? Komicho? Hey, how come Ijincho has so many creepy masks? <laughs> I was just gonna ask you. Kuana's not here. Huh? That intel was fake. We were the ones who put it out. You live here? Then you must be Komicho. Normally, it's us hiring the handyman. But this time, it was Kuana asking the favor. Do you know why there's so many creepy creepy masks in Ijinsho? Because they don't have to animate the people talking. I'm huh? just kidding. To put out false information? Yes. He said he wanted to see what kind of enemy he was dealing with and how they'd respond to an eyewitness report. Seeing as how easy police info made its way to these thugs, I'd say he was wise to use caution. Were he any closer, he would have been ensnared by now. So Kawana's nearby, watching everything unfold as we speak? He's really in a Jinsho then? 
We'll have to clear the room to discuss that. Hey, why are you looking at me? Because it's time for you to Sorry. get the fuck out of here. Whoa! As you said, Kuwana's return to Ujincho. There are benefits to being here that only he can exploit. Where's he hiding out? Under the protection of Tesso from the Yokohama Ryoma. But you're cleared to see him. We already took care of that. Kawana actually said he'd meet us? Hmm. Come on. There's a way through the cops don't know. You can get out to the city from there. <laughs> That'd be helpful, thanks. Guess you're not so bad after all. Bear in mind, you may not leave alive if you come back. You were never welcome here. And never mind. <laughs> so, where do we find Kuwana-san? I'm sure the Liumang will lead us to him. Just so happens I've got a brother there named Tesso. A what? Now let's get there before Kuwana changes his mind. But first, we have to stop by the pharmacy and a popo, like stat. Yeah, let's go. So, you Yagami Yanaki? Tesso san told me to let you in. Uh, Yagami Yanaki? It's a long story. <laughs> hey! Will you be coming inside? Where are you, Suyura, so I can beat your ass? That means Kuwana's back there. Maybe I should prep before going in. I'm ready. Sure, let me pass. This way, please. Oh shit, I should have bought whatever I need to make the extract. I needed something to make the strength extract. And I can probably just buy it at a store. Oh well. It's fine. No, it's not. It's plugged in. Here, let me just unplug it. Bro, hey man. Welcome back, friends. Tesso. Hey, Anakin. bro. Do I have to call you that? <laughs> Take a seat. And you too, buddy. This will be fun. And which of your names should we be using for you now? Kiwana? Or do you prefer Kitakata Sensei? Kitakata is a name that's been all but murdered by society. Any Jean Cho. I'm just a merry old handyman Kuwana son. Yeah. If you ask the cops, How long is that gonna you're last? the murder suspect Kitakata. After killing Sawa Sensei, you fled the scene. At least, that's the story the police top brass are passing down through the ranks. Now, why would they say something like that about you? Calm down, Yagami. How come you never relax? I have no chill! So Kuwana hired you guys from the start. And you pretended to not know each other in front of me? If that's the case, you really went all out for me. Didn't I tell you? The Liumang accepts anonymous requests, too. Tesso didn't know I was the one who hired him. I suppose there's no point in hiding that now. That's just how it is. Nothing to get mad over, bro. You really aren't hiding anything? Did you tell him all you've done? He's a former high school teacher who's going around killing bullies. Can't be much more to hide than that. Do you need any more convincing? <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a loss. I worked my ass off to get where you are. And I'm still trying to untangle the mess you've made of it. I made you've a mess? You've got my student helpers by the throats. So I'm really backed into a corner here. You mean the graduates from Kurokawa Academy? Like Mamiya-san? Very good, Sugiira-kun. So how about it? No reason for us to doubt each other's intentions, right? All the secrets are out in the open now. Fine. Then I'm gonna light up. You were just over at Komi Jewel, weren't you? RK was looking for me there. The police even lent them a hand. Yeah. Well, now I'm even more confused. I give up. Who in the world could be after me? we came here Who to has ask you. influence over both RK and the police? Here to venture a guess? They'd be the uneducated guesses of a handyman. You got any bright ideas yourself, Master Detective? I haven't confirmed it for sure yet, but 
But I have a pretty good theory for you. Oh? Who? I just heard this from Detective Watanabe. The ones looking for Kuwana are... Vice Minister Reiko Kusumoto, Red Knife, or Public Security? Well, we we heard from um, Cop Man that is Public Security from Watanabe. The Public Security Division. That's what a detective from Kanagawa PD said. According to them, you're the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's murder. That's why Kanagawa PD was told to lay off RK. Any trace of RK in the footage near Sawa Sensei's place is gone. Likely public security's work. And with that kind of backing, it's understandable why RK is so confident. Yo, hold up again. Why is public security after Kuwana in the first place? Why is public security after Kuwana? Likely the wishes of a specific individual. They're trying to preserve RK. They're protecting from prosecution. They're working with Reiko Kusumoto. Let's go with the Reiko Kusumoto. Public security is probably working for Reiko Kusumoto, vice minister of the Ministry of Health. What? Kawana, Nani? you had your students kidnap Shinya Kawai, right? Five years ago in Kamurocho? Kawai bullied Reiko Kusumoto's son, Mitsuru-kun. That painted a target on his back for you. But before you took Kawai out, you approached Reiko Kusumoto with your revenge offer, didn't you? Ahara told us that. Before taking revenge on a bully, you'd approach the family about it first. Did you make the same offer to Reiko Kusumoto? What if I did? She's the vice minister of the Ministry of Health. She's pretty popular. She's even cleaning up her predecessor's mess. If it were to surface that she agreed to a revenge killing, they'd have yet another massive scandal on their hands. And if you get to go down in cuffs instead of a body bag, that detail may just come out. Before that can happen, Reiko Kusumoto plans to have me silenced and use public security to do it. You catch exactly. on fast. Except public security can't just go after you, so they subcontracted RK to do the dirty work. That would explain why public security is trying to cover for RK. I see. Well, the logic starts off soundly enough. What? Something wrong with it? Unfortunately, yes. Something does stick out. Did we not figure it out What's yet? What's that? I did, in fact, approach Kusumoto-san five years ago about taking revenge on Shinya Kawai. She said no? And just as you said, I used Mama Yakun and the others to kidnap Kawai. And? From that point on, Kusumoto-san knew I was directing Mama Yakun and the others. She'd seen their faces, knew their identities, everything. So... If Kusumoto-san wanted to go after me, Mama Yakun and the others would be first on the list. But the fact is, public security hasn't laid a finger on them, even now. Mm. Which means, Kusumoto-san isn't the one giving them orders. Dang it. So if Reiko Kusumoto was giving orders to public security, she could have gotten to Kuwana much quicker. Sure, that makes some sense. Hey, so sorry if this is off topic, but what was Kusumoto-san doing when Shinya Kawai was killed five years back? She was standing right there with me. Afterwards, she took three days of PTO, and that was a first for her. Why? Shinya Kawai died at the hands of Kusumoto-san. She drove the knife into his chest personally. She took it slow, making sure he suffered the whole time. Just yeah. like Akihiro Ahara, she avenged her son with her own two hands. I admire her. She killed Kawai herself? The current vice minister of the Ministry of Health committed murder? If that's true, she's had to keep that hidden for a long time. Afterward, she told me she'd never wash the smell of his blood off her hands. Damn, man. I was the only one who knew that, by the way. The others have no idea. On that day five years ago, I sent them straight home after they brought me Kawai. 
and I was the only one with Kusumoto-san when she killed him. So then... This sounds way too crazy to be real. Even so, the fact is Kusumoto-san hasn't betrayed Are you sure? Besides, I doubt the Vice Minister is powerful enough to order public security around. Then who is giving them their orders? Well, I'd say your theory's on the right track. I'm sure public security contracted RK. It lines up with what's happened so far. I imagine they're so persistent because they know I can be used against Kusumoto-san. Either way, whoever's pulling the strings is someone who'll benefit from your capture. So if it isn't Reiko Kusumoto, maybe it's one of her enemies? An enemy? Yeah, like someone within the Ministry of Health, or maybe even some kind of political rival. Nothing would be more valuable to them than dirt on Kusumoto, right? They're probably trying to take her down. Or they could threaten and manipulate her as they see fit. Is that why public security has been taking action? If they wanted to take her down, they could have had the police investigate her fair and square. Whoever's behind RK and public security must be an enemy of Reiko Kusumoto. That seems to be the most logical train of thought. But if they were an enemy of Reiko Kusumoto, then wouldn't they want Kawaii alive so that they could like, I don't know, use him to out her or something? Right. Kusumoto-san can walk away from the Ministry of Health anytime she wants. Plus, she has the public's support, especially with the younger crowds. All just more reasons for her to have enemies. I read some article about how even the Prime Minister has a hard time with her. Like, she'll get up in his face every time he signs an order. Dumbass loses so many arguments, he practically works for her now. Well, then maybe it's him. So the Prime Minister is trying to find some dirt on Reiko Kusumoto? He's just an example. Weren't you listening when we said Kusumoto-san has lots of enemies in her position? Hey, don't be a dick. So whoever's behind <laughs> this may have been looking for a weakness in Kusumoto-san for a while. They must have got their start after realizing Ehara's case was really about getting revenge on a bully. That puts Ehara and Reiko Kusumoto in the same boat, being that their only sons were bullying victims. And if they discovered that Kawaii also vanished five years ago. Regardless, that wouldn't account for the rest of the incidents where a bully ended up dead. You'd know. You're the one going up and down the whole country killing them off, aren't you? Kawaii makes number seven. Seven? Damn, man. It wouldn't take much to connect the dots. <laughs> I love how, like... This guy who's, I don't know if he's the, he's not the leader of the Liumong, but he's like high rank in the Liumong, right? And they're like this kind of like hard, um, like gang organization. And he's just like, what? That's crazy. Oh my God. What? Seven? Damn. What the hell? <laughs> like this is way too much even for him. It leads straight to her. Reiko Kusumoto. Then they'd know that she was among the victims who got her revenge. Yeah. And then... To Ahara's case. The link between him and Kusumoto is clear as day now if you know what you're looking for. That link... Sawa-sensei. Took me a while, but I connected the two cases together myself. It was RK. She never should have even been on their radar. In fact, they traced your name from her. Sawa-sensei knew. She suspected you were involved with the Mikoshiba murder in one way or another, right? You don't care. You see your killing spree on these former bullies like you're doing the country a service. In your eyes, this is vengeance. Actually, no. You'd call it justice, wouldn't you? Except... Sawa-sensei wouldn't have died if it was. That was never my intent. She shouldn't have died. No. You don't get to just brush her off like that. Like an afterthought. You had to have known you'd go down with this eventually. And you're fine if all your old students like Yui Mamiya go down with you. By then, 
Why would you look back at your trail of blood? Why would you clean up all your carnage? It's not your problem, right? You move forward with one purpose. Send as many bullies to hell as you can. Beyond that, you don't give a shit what happens. Sawa-sensei died in tears. He didn't see what I saw. The fear she must have felt was still frozen on her face. You, Ahara, Reiko Kusamoto, you're all murderers. And so far, all of you have gotten away with it. So why did Yoko Sawa end up having to pay the price? Tell me, will you even be able to look her in the eye when you die? I doubt it. That's gonna follow me well into the afterlife. So what now, then? March to the cops and turn myself in. You should. If you don't do exactly that, no one will know why she had to die. And that'll be the end of her story. Everyone will keep on dancing around her death. Even though she was completely innocent. Just like the cops are doing. Afraid I can't do that. If I turn myself in now, there's only one thing that happens. Public security takes me out. Yep. And worse, Reiko Kusumoto would be compromised. And that, I will never allow to happen. Of all the people involved in this, she deserves to walk free. Her revenge was justified. You think so? All she did was scrape off the scum of the earth that pushed her only son into an attempted suicide. She didn't sit around crying about a legal miscarriage. She took justice into her own hands. No one has any right to indict her for that. So don't go there. Nobody lays a finger on her! Hey, skinny ginger kid. What? Looks like this is gonna turn into a little more than a chat. Good thinking. Oh. Is it fighting time? So is your plan to kill me too? Anyone who interferes with your justice? We all get added to your body count, don't we? The punishment fits the crime. You're just blind. If you can't see that, then you can go to hell! Stay out of my way! Let's go! And here we go! Oh my goodness. It's not gonna be easy. Let's use our strength extract. Ah! <laughs> 
song. Really great song. <laughs> Just look, look at them. How long has this been going now? I lost track. Call it? Nah. They're gonna tire out eventually. Beating the shit out of each other is the way some people communicate. I can see that. Ouch. There we go. Now let's stop him. Yeah, it's about that time. Uh, Haven't you had enough yet? What? You think it's time to give it a rest? Hell no. Stay out of our way. You're not looking so hot. Uh, Lucky I stopped when I did, you know. I had a move lined up with your name on it. You're the one who got lucky as far as I'm concerned. I was about to kick your ass. <sighs> what a fucking mess, guys. <sighs> hey! I forgot his name, but I love this guy. What's his name again? <laughs> hey, both of you, eat. Your food's getting cold. Oh, Over yeah. Let's cook this himself. For sure. Look good if there's any left. Whatever. Whatever however you Not say it. Not a problem. <laughs> this stuff's great. I didn't think we'd see, be seeing anybody mm, like delicious. that in this game. Man, this is the good stuff. So that means Reiko Kusamoto could be being targeted by public security. Right. It's possible part of the police wants to catch me as leverage against Kusamoto-san on public security orders. But that's only if public security really is behind this. You're the one who said you got that info from a cop. Well, someone up top's been putting pressure on the investigation. That much is clear. But no matter how you slice it, the fact that you're enemy number one while RK roams free is absurd. Unfortunately, all I got out of that cop was that public security itself is who we're up against. They're, they're not even looking public at each other. Public security is Japan's top intelligence agency. If they're after you, there's no escape. Agreed. Then I guess now's a good time to make a suggestion. Huh? Hmm? Tell me, who benefits the most from you two fighting? Huh? That'd be public security. The more you drag each other down, the easier they'll be able to get the jump on you. By the time you notice, it's too late. They've got you. And that's exactly what they'd want, right? But what if you two work together? You watch each other's backs and act before RK and public security do. You might even be able to find out who's pulling the strings. Sounds reasonable. Huh. Yeah. For two enemies to join forces, there needs to be an even greater threat to fight. Sure. I'm on board with that. Fine, but this is only temporary. Once we've finished with public security, I'm gonna make sure you answer for what you've done. Okay. Uh, then where do we start? Should we just storm public security at this point? Probably not. No. <laughs> First, we need to confirm public security is really the enemy we're after. Right. We'll make our move after that. We have the element of surprise. They have no idea we're working together. Then we'll use it to our advantage and outsmart them. <laughs> Aw, look at the boys playing nice. If public security's trying to find some leverage against Kusumoto-san, they'll likely be listening in on her. They're the experts in wiretapping and espionage, after all. We just need a quick confirmation. How? <laughs> we'll just give her a call. Right here? Yes. That way, her enemy will trace the call and pinpoint our location. 
And public security is the only one in Japan who can pull that off, so we'll know right away if it's them. <laughs> You're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold up! <laughs> you saying if you call up Reiko Kusumoto, then the bad guys will start pouring in? Can we maybe not do that here? Actually, that might just work in our favor. Huh? Bro, why are you talking crazy? Yeah, bro. Uh, Yagami-san, you sure about getting on bro terms without Kaito-san? Wouldn't that bum him out? Whoa. This is amazing. What is this? Good shit, huh? You've I want to eat taste, it so bro. bad. I knew you of all people would notice the difference. Kuana, when was the last time you spoke to Reiko Kusumoto? Five years ago, on the night she killed Kawai. We arranged it so we'd never contact each other after that. So you have her number then? If it hasn't changed. What is it then? I have an idea. What? We're gonna set a trap to find out if we really are up against public security. If they trace the call and they send people for us, then we know for sure it's them. That's why we're gonna call Reiko Kusumoto using a location that doesn't exist at all. How's that work? What? We'll use two phones that can't be traced back to us, and we'll relay your voice. Obviously, you won't be wherever we do this from. Best to do this someplace with no one around. Once we see who they send in, mission accomplished. Wait, what's happening? Send them to a fake spot? <laughs> Don't worry, I got it. You'll catch up, Sugiyura-kun. First, we need to know our enemy. I'll have Tsukumo prep us some burner phones. Which means... a truce for the time being? Only while you're here. Gotta keep things civil for my brother. <laughs> Man, Zhao sounds cooking makes even Go. the suckier situations not suck. Cheers to that! Plink! Cheers! To Zhao's cooking. Wait, no, no, hey. no! So Tsukumo-kun's already got the phones ready. They're burners that can't be traced back to us. So, it is, it is Joel, right? In, like, they say, I remember, they say it different in the dub than the sub. I played like a dragon with the sub. So, they say Joel, but here they say Jao, right? Something like that? Two of them, right? Just like you asked for. Nicely done, Yokohama 99. You work quick. Okay, time to go see Tsukumo. Yeah! Man, I want to eat Joe's cooking so bad. It, it looks so good. 